Hey friends, my name is Janki Trivedi and I am here to present a fiction poem, Macavity, the Blistery Cat. This poem is recreated by my sir, Dr. Dharmendra Shay. The original poem was written by Sir T. S. Eliot as Macavity, the Mystery Cat. So here it goes. Macavity was a blistery cat. He had blisters on each paw. For he was the hardened criminal who daily defied the law. Police, people, detectives all tried but tried in vain. For when they reached the scene of crime, he watched them with disdain. Macavity, Macavity, there was no one like Macavity. He'd mastered how to break each law with abandon and audacity. He twisted laws of nature as if he cared for them a fig. For him the sense of order was like a useless piece of twig. If given top priority to nab him when it fought, you would search him in the hole, you would hunt him in the world, he would hide behind a barrel or he would lose himself in the attic. You could search him everywhere till you got a totally frantic. Macavity was a ginger cat. He looked tall and sublime. You would know him if you saw him for his grin smacks of crime. He had a long tail, sharp claws and glossy auburn coat. But he had no mercy at all when his victims he smote. Macavity, Macavity, there was no one like Macavity. For he was the devil in flesh and blood, a master of brutality. You might have seen him on rooftops or in verandas or on stairs. But when a crime was discovered, he was busy elsewhere with his affairs. His demeanor was of a cat, contented with his life. But his misdeeds clearly hinted a strong internal strife. When the kitchen was ransacked or he spotted a broken glass, Macavity was responsible, but he wouldn't be there, alas. When there were smudges on paintings or scratches on your walls or clothes ripped to shreds, and mud on your shawls, for sure it was Macavity who had just finished his deed and run away slyly as wily he was indeed. Macavity, Macavity, there was none like Macavity, for he committed every act with grace, fun and alacrity. Even when he was caught once, he just sat that sucking line. It was no surprise he was called the Napoleon of crime. Thank you.